Big throw, bro. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't any taller. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to Tools in Action, the show where you got two dudes who just like to talk about tools. They used to be in a garage, now they're in some studio. We got Lowe's, we got Southwire, and we just talk tools. We're not salesmen. I'm not. We're just consumers, tell you. guys, just like yes. you guys are. I'm not going to tell you to buy this thing. Neither is Eric. Would you buy it though? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Okay. And I'll go. I'll tell you why. Too. Before we start, though, um, Dewalt has a lot of radios. They all kind of. I mean, there's some companies, and I'm not blaming Dewalt. Like Milwaukee, everybody just comes out with so many radios. There's like so many different. It's like which one do you choose, right? We did the radio tough test. Mm -hmm. Do you remember we which did. one survived? Rigid. Rigid. Wow. Rigid. That yeah. was an amazing radio. That it was. We took it up and cherry picker, dropped it. I forget how far it was. Seventy feet, maybe. Whatever yeah. it was. We dropped them all, and it was just yeah. And then actually Milwaukee's got a new radio now too. That's a radio and charger in one. It's a little 12 volt. Wow. So, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to do draw tests on this. We're going to see how this works. But right quickly out of the box, first thing I notice is that it's compact, right? Mm -hmm. It's compact and it works off of both 20 volt and 12 volt power. No. Or you can plug it in. It comes with a oh, car too. So nice. it's basically a hybrid. Weighs eight pounds. Weighs so. eight pounds. The only thing I would say about that is it'd be nice to just have the where you just extension plug an extension cord, cord into yes. it because yep. then you know you're going to lose it. you got to carry it with it. And it's um, not like a compartment to put it in or anything like that. Right. You just have to either wrap it around or keep it with it. Yeah, so you can't keep your phone or anything like that. It is IP rated. Is it not, Eric? It's got to be, yeah. Um, I don't see offhand what it would be, what it is, so I don't know. Well, then it might not be. Well, then let's find out. Remember guys, we're just consumers, just like you. It's the first time we're looking at it. We do not work for DeWalt. We do not sell DeWalt. We do not, well, we don't sell tools, period. But no. we don't, you know. And the one thing we have to say though, it's got a really nice sound quality. So it's got two bass and like a one inch uh, tweeter and 3.5 inch for the both bass. Right. But we can't unfortunately play the music because Even if we YouTube play a second now, YouTube Demonetized it, it and all that, flags so we it. can't. But trust us on it; it does sound really nice yeah. for the size of it. It does sound good. It does have a full roll bar protection, and honestly, I do like the control area here. I do. Hopefully, and it's easy to see. You got the the black letters with the blue ba black blue background. Yep. You got a mute. You got six presets here. You got a USB, USB charger. Yeah, wow, that's celery. cool. Yes. So, and then here you have an aux input in. Um, Bluetooth, you just hit that button. Real easy to uh, hold it down. Look on your phone, connect, connect. Yeah. Looks really good, sounds good. Reception sucks. Yeah, and a lot of the radios, except for the new Milwaukee one, I don't have found one yeah. that actually's got good sound. Why do job site radios always have crappy reception? Yeah. I mean, seriously, why even put it on there? You know, I mean, I grant it some people like, if you're close to a city, yeah. Well, we are. We're only 45 miles south of northwest of Chicago. Yeah, so but you we think can't get anything around here, man. Dude, I have mean, you I, ever tried to get Channel 2 or 5? Uh, on the TV? Yeah, and that comes out to Sears Tower or something. You can't. Oh, no, yeah, I don't know. You know? I don't know. I mean, but granted, my car gets a lot better reception. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's weird why these can't. But, I mean, I guess it's the size of the antenna and all that. So, most of it likely you're going to be using this for Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth capabilities. And, honestly, I think it's a good little radio. How much is it? 149. 149. Bear? Bear tool. Bear, Bear tool. tool. Bear so not bad, you know. Um, it's a rugged little radio. We're gonna find out if it's waterproof or not. Yeah, so then to go back to the question, would I buy it or would I not buy it? Me personally, no, I would not buy it. Why? The reason being is because DeWalt has just a Bluetooth speaker that's $99, it's smaller, it's lighter, great sound, and I use it all the time. In fact, I love it so much, I actually bought two of them. And the reason being is it's kind of the same thing. This has the radio, and this with the radio reception not being good, it's not worth it to me. Now, Grant, on the job site, I hear a lot of people talk, listen to AM radio and all that, and that's perfect for all that. But for me, I always listen to a Pandora or something like that. So I just need the Bluetooth speaker, and that's why. Anyone who needs a radio, Maybe for AM, whatever, it's good. Otherwise, I would actually, I like the $99 Bluetooth speaker better. You know? All right, no, that's, dude, I get you. Okay, for me, would I buy it? Possibly, possibly I could buy it. Why um, would you buy it? If I'm close to an area that has reception that I know gets strong reception. I mean, if you're in the city, dude, this thing will get up most any station that's broadcasting around the city. Um, you know, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, uh, like Eric said, but what I would like to see on these radios and all tool radios is if you're gonna have FM, why not have a weather band? 
That way, with same technology, that way, hey, me and Eric are painting, all of a sudden, tornado warning, severe thunderstorm warning. We know we don't have to look outside. All the plywood's flying around, hitting our trucks. I would normally agree with that, with the radio, or with the weather band, and I would absolutely love it. But the problem I find nowadays, if there's a cloud out there, that radio band goes off all the time. Like now on channel, really? like, all the time, like we're listening to the TV and it says, storms come and you look at it. It's like, well, it's up north. It's 50 miles away from us. Why are you telling me that? I don't care. I don't know. Mine's pretty you good, know? dude. Mine's not. Mine comes no. up. Like I have this WGN app and it says lightning detected or it's just going to start raining in five minutes. Sure enough, it's raining. Yeah. It's crazy. That's I don't dark really need to know if it's raining or sunny or whatever. I just need to know if there's a tornado or if it's going to be dude. like, I, I need to go in the basement or something. That's all I need to know. Well, and if you're not on the job site, you know, you know, there's no basement. Well, I don't, yeah, that I don't know. Okay, so we need these radios to be so big that we can get in them and close them around us to be protected from tornadoes. And then we can anchor it to concrete right away so it doesn't fly away. Yes, or just have rockets on it, push a button, and fly away to Tampa. You just land on the that beach. That would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I'd be up for that. All right, you guys, let's go tough test this. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I probably would buy it. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you might want to cut that part out of our Oh, we can't say <laughs> I don't think you can say it on our channel. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that beep, because I said yeah, that's that B a beep, word. You know? All right, let's go yeah. test it out. The battery stayed on it, too. Got it ready? Just a little bit higher. It works. Okay, a little bit higher now. Still works. Wow, and the battery stayed on. I don't hear it though. Nope, it's on. Oh, wow. One more time. Man, that thing is tough. I don't know where. Big throw, bro. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't any taller. Is it still on? Does it just turn off when it hits or something? No, it's on. All right. Well, oh. There, oh, there we go. Something's rattling in there. All right. But that's all right. It's still it's playing. Still, it's still oh, playing? Battery. Check the battery. Okay. Yeah, bro. It still took a pretty good hit. It still took a pretty good hit, hit but something major happened inside on that one. I don't see what busted it. I don't know. Show us from the back. Wow. Well, I wonder fun. what did bust it. All right, guys, so we cracked it open. I mean, it looks pretty good inside. I don't know, like, I mean, I don't know what here. busted on it. I don't hear anything rattling or anything that came apart. Yeah, we're not experts. We're not AV. I can't tell you what this is made out of, Don, whatever. All they can say is that it's all put together. It doesn't Well, you can see the base like. right there, and you can see the tweeters up top. Ported. It's got a port. That's Which means what, what? Which is it means what? It sounds like like bassy. Yep. That port helps. Wow, that port, that port exits on the front here. So that's a base port. Um, wow, I don't and know. That's what interesting this is. what that. I don't know what that is. I'm wondering if that's what actually was rattling around in there. Oh, yeah, that is what was rattling around. So what's that weight? It's like a. Uh, it's got some. I wonder if that's some of these like exceptioners. It. You know, it's it, interesting. it probably goes right there. What all this is for? Um, where's the battery? Um. Oh, yeah. I'm not even gonna attempt to try to put it together. But that's it, you guys. Inside and out. Still pretty tough radio. Eric threw it all around and it lasted. I would definitely give it a good score. Five oh, out for of five. Durability, definitely. More exciting tool action. Go to toolsinaction.com.